think as you walk in this year, you know, the fact that those walls are turquoise, that immediately says, oh, you know, they're doing something to sort of shake it up a bit. I like the little dog's face. I like the kind of way the paint's been slapped down. I don't suppose it took a long time to paint, and sometimes that gives it a kind of life, sort of vibrancy, doesn't it? But it doesn't make it any less worthy of a place in the summer exhibition. You never know what the stories are behind these pictures, do you? The thing with the summer exhibition is it's incredibly important to amateur painters, for sure, just for that chance of getting your picture up and seen by uh, a huge audience. This looks a bit like a uh, kind of set for a Bond movie. You can imagine um, the head of Smirsch having his office up in the top here. And then he's got his missile down this hole, trained on um, Buckingham Palace or something. I look at some of these architectural models and think, is that something that's been built? Is that Boris Johnson's plan for Canvey Island? It's sort of an arrogance, isn't it, or boldness entering the summer exhibition if you're an amateur. But the great thing about it is, you, you know, you don't have to turn up, you can be anonymous. The judges aren't privy to the names of the people doing it. You're judged solely on your picture. I've uh, painted a picture of Damien Hirst from a photograph. He was on the cover of Time magazine. I'm a big fan of Damien Hirst. I don't think you can overestimate the thrill of being, you know, an amateur painter, a sort of hobbyist, and then walking to the, you know, the Royal Academy and, and seeing your picture, you know, up, up against all these other artists, you know, some of whom may well be amateurs, others who are kind of established painters. Next. There's probably more stuff I don't like than I do like, but that's the same every year, and that's the kind of thrill of it, isn't it? You know. Particularly if, you know, if you're in the position where you've entered something and it hasn't got in. You know, you wander around going, how did that get in? What are they, you know? This is sort of a whole load of tree bark that looks like cork that's been uh, assembled in a certain way. Now, what I like about this, apart from its, you know, its impact is it could only be the work of one person. It's completely idiosyncratic, isn't it? And uh, the summer exhibition is great for that. That's three. Yeah. I'd say probably this year it's sort of perhaps not quite as um, safe as previous years. There's a few more risks taken with the, with the hanging. Um, but in many ways, you know, I hope it never changes really. <laughs>